Hey everyone, the Lord gave me a very important prophetic word concerning January 30. I encourage you to pay undivided attention for next few minutes. It is going to bless your life and transform your life. This is the prophetic word the Lord told me. 30th of January is the day when the tribe of Judah and tribe Asher primarily was born. So tribe Asher is born on this specific day, which is 1562 BC. So this is really amazing. There are 12 tribes. One of them is tribe of Judah. He was not born on Jan 30, but the Asher is the tribe who was born on Jan 30. Asher means happiness. This is really important to remember that God always wants to bring forth a joy and happiness in your life. And that is a very unique prophetic word the Lord gave me concerning this. And he wanted me to speak over you. There are two passages in the Bible that talks about this tribe. Jacob blessed Asher. This is what Jacob told in Genesis 49 and verse 20. His bread shall be fat and he shall yield royal dainties or like he will be royal. In other words, bread shall be fat. So this Asher tribe is responsible for producing olive oil in Israel. Just imagine during the time of Moses, Moses told this, May Asher be blessed above other sons. May he be esteemed by his brothers. May he bathe his feet in olive oil. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 24. You can read that. It's really amazing to see that Jacob blessed Asher tribe and Moses reiterated that. It's really amazing how this specific tribe is responsible for the production of oil. The Lord says this to you. He will bring forth oil in your life. His anointing is going to increase in your life. He is going to bring forth oil also represents prosperity and settlements. The Lord is going to meet all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. This is really amazing to see how God blessed this tribe, Asher, in a powerful way, in a mighty way. This is the eighth son. Eighth represents, eighth son of Jacob. Eight represents new beginning. The Lord says, my son, my daughter, I will bring a new beginning in your life. Nothing can be shaken. You will be strong and courageous. You will be strengthened. The Lord says you will grow and increase. The Lord says all your sorrow will turn to joy. Maybe in, in the 2023, you might have been through sorrow and pain and suffering. But the Lord says, this is the month of joy and happiness. The way how I brought Asher into this world and their parents, Jacob and Leah, they named him as Asher, meaning joy, happiness, blessed. That's also another meaning. The Lord says, I will bless you, my beloved, and I will prosper you. I will thrive. Also, I, the Lord, will bring forth the amazing breakthrough in your life like never before. So this is really important. This is very crucial because every curse in your life will be broken in the name of Jesus. The Lord is breaking every curse and he is turning all into a blessing. The Lord says that I, the Lord, will bring forth a powerful breakthrough in your life like never before. Greater things are going to happen in your life. Genesis 49, 20 says, Asher's foot shall be rich and he shall yield royal delicacies. In other words, he will be like a royal. The Lord says, you are a royal priesthood. The Lord says, I will bless you abundantly. There will be always food on your table. The Lord says, I will bless you with wine, grain and oil. He told that to Israelites today. The Lord says, I am going to bless you abundantly, powerfully, mightily. I will take you to great heights. I, the Lord, will lift you up from the lowest places and I will make you to sit with a heavenly place and every day he is doing that in your life through the blood of Jesus you are seated with Christ in heavenly realms the Lord says even here on this place earth the Lord says you will shine thrive and multiply in the book of Deuteronomy 33 and verse 24 says Asher most blessed of blessed of sons be Asher let him be the favorite of his brothers and let him dip his foot in oil. So in other words, the Lord is really releasing a prosperity and breakthrough and increase and elevation and abundance 
in Asher's life. The Lord is releasing a powerful breakthrough in your life. Do you know only one mistake Asher did? I want you to really remember that as you are approaching Jan 30. This is one of the mistake that they did. Asher did. God blessed them. God prospered them. God made them rich. God enriched them, strengthened them. God told, you are my favorite and I love you and I will make you to produce the oil, olive oil in the nation. And that's a powerful blessing for this tribe. But one thing they failed to do, they failed to drive out Canaanites. God told them to drive out Canaanites. But Asher tribe, they were a little bit indecisive or like they are not able to take decision and they are not able to take a proper, strong, bold step by listening the voice of God. So because of this, the people of Asher lived among the Canaanite inhabitants of the land. Judges chapter 1 and 31 and 32 says, Asher did not drive out the inhabitants or, inhib- or inhabitants of Sidon, Al- Ahalab, Achib, Hel- Helbaz, So many places, right? So, and then the Canaanites, finally, the inhabitants of the land, they did not drive them out. God told them to drive them out, but they did not. They failed to take the land that the Lord has given them. And and this is one of the reasons why Asher suffered a lot in the midst of the riches, in the midst of the olive oil, in the midst of the uh, amazing royalty, kingly anointing, priestly anointing. Still, they suffered a life of... um, so much of pain and devastation. The Lord says today, the spirit of Jezebel, today it's a spiritual warfare. Every spirit that is trying to come against you and trying to torment you and cause the pattern of curse or pattern of Jezebel attacks or control or manipulation, the Lord says, my beloved, you have the full authority and dominion to take control and cast those spirits out of your life and out of your family out of your territory in that way you can be bold courageous you can able to live in the plenty that the lord has blessed you and be a blessing for others that is one thing that asher failed to do not driving out what god what god told him to drive out but still the end of the day he was richly blessed bible says and um, this is amazing They failed to trust God and honor God in doing what God told them to do. But this is what happened later. It has a good news. Later in Judges, we see that Asher does respond to Gideon's call to cast out Midianites, Amalekites. So when God raised Gideon, the Asher tribe, they realized my forefathers failed to drive out these Amalekites who come and steal our crops, our olive oil. But then when Gideon made a call of 300, Asher came forward. That's really amazing to see. This is the time God says, my beloved, as you enter into this Jan 30th, it's a reminder of God's goodness and faithfulness to Asher. How God, when the generation passed by, God made the same tribe who failed once in spite of all their riches and blessings and prosperity, grace, but still they failed to drive out the enemies. They were reluctant. They were like um, casual. They were like taking things lightly. They did not trust God when he said what he said. But then the moment when the time of Gideon, God restored what they missed or failed to do. Sometimes you might have failed or missed certain things to do in your life. God gives you a second chance. And this is the second chance. January is the month of second chance. The same way how when Gideon called, all the Asher tribe came forward. The same way the Lord says that, My beloved, I the Lord will bring forth powerful things. So Judges 6.35 says how Asher tribe also stood for stood with Gideon. And it's really powerful. The Lord is recompensating and bringing forth a powerful breakthrough and glorious move, marvelous victory. It's going to be an extraordinary things. Hallelujah. The Lord says that I, the Lord, will bring forth a powerful breakthrough in your life. Nothing can stop you. We are blessed with Christ in every spiritual blessings. Ephesians 1.3 The Lord says that you are going to be deeply blessed as you enter into this month of January and this Asher tribe month. And the Lord says that as you love me, you will 
keep my commandments. The Lord says that when God tells you to do something, do it because it is going to be a blessing because the enemy wants to kill, steal and destroy. Amalekites, Midianites, end of the day, they have been eating the crops of Israelites for so long. But God told long back to Asher to drive them out, but they failed to do. But during the time of Gideon, they were able to recoup that and they were able to do exactly what God told. And several years, there was a peace and prosperity in the land and there was a great joy and hope. Today, the Lord says, my beloved, I, the Lord, will bring forth powerful blessings in your life, greater breakthrough in your life. Mighty wonders will manifest in your life like never before. You will arise and shine. My light has come. My power has come. Victorious things are going to manifest in your life like never before. How many of you believe that the Lord will do marvelous wonders in your life like never before? Get ready for the mighty move of God. And don't miss the upcoming conferences in Washington, D.C. and um, um, Texas, Dallas, and also in um, Los Angeles, Kentucky. So you can register, you can visit albertmilton.com slash events. And it is going to be a powerful prophetic conference in Washington, D.C. If you're around, I encourage you to come Saturday, next Saturday, Jan 13th, next Saturday. I encourage you to uh, see you there if you are around and God bless you so much. And also check out the, um, you know, like the um, um, 365 declarations. It's already the first batch shipped out and, and the every day more shipping going out. So this is declaration, 365 declarations are there in this uh, booklet. And I encourage you to check out, check those things on my store. It is going to be a blessing. God bless you so much and keep you, cover you, protect you. And he will do extraordinary things and marvelous things. Greater things are yet to come. Mighty wonders are going to happen. You can also join Patreon or YouTube membership. I'm doing one-on-one -on -one with uh, Patreon and YouTube members. Uh, still, I have some slots available to meet. And um, um, it is such a blessing. Uh, and also, you can contact me and write to me. And you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Take a moment to subscribe and share this video about Jan 30, how God is going to do amazing things, marvelous things, and He loves you so much. Greater things are yet to come. In Jesus' name, amen.